Rip Char Lightsaber back for another video and I want to talk to you about a token that is trending on Dex Tools at the moment called Holy on the ticker which is Holy Held H-O-L-Y-H-E-L-D we'll have a look at the website and find out exactly what it is but before we do let's have a quick look at the chart okay now the reason why I thought I'd point this out to you is it has had a nice upswing already but it's had a really nice pullback okay so the upswing caught momentum went up about a thousand percent approximately okay it's now had approximately about a 70 percent pullback all right or 68 percent as you can see here and now it is starting to trend upwards with uh you know a little pump there a higher low and a higher high and a higher low and now as you can see it's starting again to move to the upside which is why i think it's due for another uh, another upswing now it is trending on dex tools at number seven okay so um that gives you an idea of the fact that you know a lot of people are looking at this token at the moment all right if we look on coin market cap you'll see it's a very low cap gem okay it's at 811 thousand market cap let's just refresh that um just in case it's changed all right as you can see it is going up as we speak all right guys so you'll have to move quick if you do want to get a good entry on this all right but um yeah it's at 820 thousand 219 market cap the circulating supply is about one fat uh, one million eight hundred and ninety six one point nine million just under okay and as you can see it does look like it's doing a bit of a market cycle and it's currently on uniswap if you do want to buy that and you know of course it's on coin gecko so uh, that's always a good indicator of legitimacy okay now let's have a look and find out what holy held actually is so it's basically a banking app for uh, for crypto all right they've got their own card all right um and obviously it's DeFi, right decentralized finance okay so you can have a look at the website in your own time but what i like about it is the fact that it does have a product it does have a working product and so obviously there is utility so i want to focus on the holy held card all right and the fact that i think that you know um, this is very undervalued at the moment now, I've only just discovered this project today, or, or yesterday. Um, I discovered it yesterday, but only had a proper look at it today, all right? Which is why I thought I would invest some of my own money into this, okay? Because I'm all up for supporting, you know, the, the innovation of crypto and the innovation of banking and crypto, especially for people that, you know, um, need alternatives. So with this, um, you know, it's just plain to say that basically, it has utility and it's very low market cap so that's one of the main reasons that i'm investing in it if i'm honest with you okay and obviously it's had a pullback i'm not buying the bottom okay and I, i'm not sorry i'm not buying the top okay i love to buy the bottom i'm not buying the top all right now it's it works with apple pay okay and samsung pay already okay um you can also use it um as a virtual card okay so it's a virtual card and then um, you can basically start using it from today uh, according to this so you know it might be something that a few of you guys might be interested in you can check that out further but this one is definitely one that i'm looking at for a potential swing to the upside obviously it's going to face a little bit of resistance at this level uh, which you can see happening as we speak all right but if we break above that level which it looks like we are going to potentially all right just based on the fact it's got the higher highs and the higher lows um i'd like to if it puts in another higher high now i think it's you know it's heading off to the upside you can see it came in with a lot of volume over here when it was previously just kind of stagnant and just you know going sideways all right so um yeah i would expect that this could potentially put in a, a third wave which could be quite high it's also got that curving pattern shape and uh, that rounding bottom all right so um yeah hopefully we can get another move to the upside on this token right here okay so some of you want to hear about buy down and what i'm thinking about buy down okay um you know i've not had as many updates with buy down recently just because of the fact that it is trending lower and you know i've not got good news to, to bring you most of the time all right but one thing i could say about the chart at the moment it does look like it could potentially be bombing out okay if we put a horizontal line down here you can see that it has kind of reached this local bottom 
all right and now it's starting to move a little bit sideways it's getting these little bounces off this area little bounces okay so um you know the only thing to do now is watch and wait and see if it can round off and come to the upside now november obviously we're in a new month today it's the first of november okay so um you know i know people are still waiting for the token burn that they expected in october perhaps it will come in november i said in a previous video about um new exchanges and all that sort of stuff um you know they're not really making the market move unless it's going to be a big big exchange second tier or first tier exchange that's what we want to see for bydow or, or hear through the announcements for bydow okay um yeah i mean for me i i, I still think that bydow has you know some potential all right and you know the guys are really not um updating people much but at the end of the day you know it's, it's good if they're in the back room you know making developments you know but um, yeah, I know people can get a little bit frustrated when they feel like they're not being informed by the team. All right, guys, they're hiding admins. Admins are answering most people's questions at the moment. But um, you know, at, at the same time, then there's not really any you know great news coming out. So let's just hope going into next week that this can start to trend upwards and it'll be a bullish week for Bidal, even a bullish month for Bidal. And then a lot of you guys, um, you know, <laughs> will be a lot happier in terms of price action, potentially. All right. But yeah, as you can see, it is starting to level out. All right, guys, I'll be surprised if it does continue down further from here. And it is holding just above ICO price. ICO price was at one cent. It's literally just over a cent at the moment. Uh, came down all the way down, just literally, just literally holding above ICO price. So yeah, it would be a shame if it did drop below ICO price because um, you know, uh, or, or some might say it's not a shame. It's a buying opportunity. But you know, whatever floats your boat. But that's about it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below. Get over onto Twitter and follow me at Crypto Lightsaber. Also, you can become a Patreon, okay, link is in the description, that gets you access to the Telegram group, and I'll see you guys in the next video.